Uh, the particular card you're looking at is the actual GTX 560, so it's the non-TI model. Um, the reason why I'm showing you this card is this is a MSI Twin Frozer, which is the same as the TI model. And uh, the reason why that's important is because these share pretty much everything in common. So the same PCB, same power delivery, same voltage controller, same air cooler, everything is identical. And what makes these uh, Twin Frozer cards interesting is they also share the same PCB as the the uh, MSI Seahawk, or Hawk, I forget what it's called, but it's uh, basically the equivalent of a, say, like a Classified, or a Hall of Fame, or one of those kind of uh, overclocking-oriented boards for the 560 and 560 Ti models. I believe they only made a 560 Seahawk, or Hawk, or whatever it's called. Uh, the MSI makes it. Uh, you can look it up. Uh, they were pretty popular at the time for overclockings. Probably still are. Um, but anyway, the PCB is the same. Uh, that particular card has different power uh, delivery system and voltage controllers and everything. Um, but the power delivery is the same. Or the uh, PCB is the same, rather. Um, so I'm just going to show you what I did to the 560 Ti. It's over there. The reason I'm not showing that card because it's smothered in uh, just like a ton of plastic dip so it doesn't really make for good camera uh, viewing so the first thing we're gonna want to do if you're overclocking a card like this uh, especially on uh, sub ambient overclocking is the first issue you're gonna run into is OCP so that's overcurrent protection nice thing about these cards are that uh, they have a little pin here, or rather four pads. Um, and if we look here on the silk screen, it says OCP unlocker. Um, so that's indicating for pad, pad three and pad two. Can't see it too well because I have soldered and resoldered and desoldered probably four or five times on this card. So this card has been kind of abused. Um, uh, but yeah, so we ha all you do is bridge these two pads here, OCP goes away. So that's the first thing. Um, the second thing these cards have is this thing here called Extreme Cool. Uh, and basically that is your slow mode or uh, a cold bug remover. Um, so instead of having to do a BIOS mod, you can uh, bridge these two pins. Um, something to keep in mind is unless you're booting into Windows, uh, probably like sub sub hundred uh, C. Uh, yeah, that's negative one hundred C. Uh, you might you have to want to put a switch on this. So just a wire from here to like say here and here to here. Put a little toggle uh, because if you just put a wire, so that's going to be triggered one hundred percent of the time. If you just put a wire from here to here. And uh, you probably won't be able to get into Windows and probably blue screen crash on you. Uh, so that's something to keep in mind. Uh, just If you're going to put that there, just do it like a toggle switch. Um, so the final thing is voltage control. So these 560s and 560Ti's do have voltage control and afterburner. Uh, the thing is, uh, afterburner goes to 1.3 volts. These volts controllers, I believe, can go to 1.6 volts, no problem. Uh, these are NCP 46 somethings, I forget exactly. It's about 1.6 max. Uh, the power delivery on these twin frozers will burn out at 1.6. Uh, PWMs will burn out. Um, so, well, at least more than likely. Um, so that's not a good thing. Uh, but the point is, afterburner only goes to 1.3 volts. Um, I've actually measured it. I've uh, put afterburner at 1.3 volts, put it under a uh, fire strike, measured it at the uh, back of the GPU socket. So here, and it only out. It only actually uh, gives the core about 1.225 volts. So yeah, that's nowhere near 1.3 afterburner. Afterburner lies. Um, even with uh, V-Droop, it's still not, uh, it shouldn't be that low. So, um, I'm going to put a um, 20K resistor on this one. 
Um, so you're looking at pin 17 on the voltage controller. And, and so pin 17 is actually connected to this resistor right here, this one right here. Um, so you can just measure from this point here to your ground pin right here, right there, and uh, get your resistance. It should be something like uh, 1 kilo ohm, 0.95 or 0.997, something like that. Um, uh, it's kilo ohm, 0.987 kilo ohm, something around there. It's about 1 kilo ohm. So we're going to add 20% to that, uh, say that puts us at 20k. Um, so that's what we're going to use. We're going to use a 20k uh, variable resistor. So something like this here. And uh, this should give us a 20% increase of max voltage. Uh, so if we set 1.35 in afterburner, we should get something like uh, 1.45, 1.55. Um, now keep in mind, like I said, uh, these twin Frozer VRMs will, uh, the, or the, rather the PWM and the power delivery will uh, go out on you at like over 1.45. So I'm actually going to do a uh, 20K variable resistor but at uh, probably 15k or 17k uh, actual resistance. So I've already measured the resistance and everything. So uh, I just wanted to uh, show you what I was going to do uh, on this card. I'm going to do it on this card and show you just to give you some context of this video and just a little bit more information. So here we have the uh, modification actually done, and ideally you just want to glue this down. I'm just going to leave it like that. Um, I might snip this side off, make it shorter. Um, so modification's done. So first thing I'm going to do is just check the continuity of uh, this wire here. Make sure we are not like have too much solder on these pads here. Alright, that one's good. Alright, yep, yeah, we're good. And uh, just so you guys know, the reason that beeped is uh, these two are actually connected down here. Uh, so really, um, you could ground all of this. So pin 3 and 4 to pin 2 because uh, this is a uh, shared ground um, but again like I said earlier if you're gonna do this uh, this top row that's the cold bud fix so uh, you really don't want it uh, triggered uh, all the time so it's just a little toggle switch now I'm gonna check the resistance of this here and it should be lower than uh, 1k. Point nine four five. Uh, point nine four five kilo ohms. So, <clears throat> uh, so those are the modifications done, and uh, this is pretty much exactly what I did uh, for the. Uh, 560 Ti. I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of reference and uh, how you guys could do this mod on these cards.